I came to Rose Holman on a campus tour my senior year of high school and I was deciding which school I wanted to go to and it was really neat how open access everything was. We got to walk through this dorm right here and just see what student life was like and so it kind of took this thing that was very intimidating to me and made it feel comfortable. I knew when I visited my senior year that this was the place for me and then when I came out it was exactly what I expected which is hard work um, but a support structure. There's very few Rose students that you'll find that graduate without an internship. So I did a few mechanical engineering internships um, and getting out in the field and, and doing that work helped me understand that I, I, there wasn't quite what I wanted. I discovered we have an aerospace engineering concentration within the mechanical engineering degree here at Rose Holman. When I started talking about doing the numbers of how you design the uh, aspect ratio of the wings of a fighter jet, I was like, that's actually fun. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, it was really my senior year at Rose, started taking aerospace courses um, that made me realize that's what I wanted to do. There's lots of very late nights, <clears throat> um, both here on campus at Rose as I was studying as an engineer, but then it kind of trained me to do that as a li for a living. Um, and once you see people flying on a rocket that you design and, and their life, uh, the responsibility of their life partially lies in your hands. Um, and then for them to safely get home to their families was, it's all worth it. <laughs> My name is Justin Smith. I'm the Senior Manager in the Guidance Navigation and Control Department at SpaceX. And I graduated Rose Holman in 2003 in mechanical engineering. Previously, all rocket launch companies you just, you're launching and you're basically just a big gas can that's filled with propellant and once it's empty you drop that dead weight and you keep going to space. And uh, we kind of had a different vision which was to reuse the spacecraft just like a 747, you know, if you imagine throwing away a, a jet aircraft every time you finish a flight, it doesn't make sense. So we're thinking the same thing. So we figured out how to basically turn the rocket around midair, relight the engines and fly it back to the landing site. And that changed the game. I mean, at that point we became kind of the, the most affordable rocket launch service in the world uh, because we were actually reusing the rockets. Um, and uh, me and the folks that I worked with were kind of fundamental in that capability. I was encouraged throughout my life and at Rosen included that um, you know, I kind of had leadership qualities, but I didn't know what that meant. Um, and I really didn't think it was true until I started doing it successfully. And really, the, it's all about um, kind of letting your team know that you're in the trenches with them, um, that you're, you're working hard with them shoulder to shoulder, and that you're not something that's above the team. It's, it's you're part of the team. And that's kind of how Rose does their education, is this, they, they don't make you feel that they're above you at all. They make you feel like they want you to learn and here's how I learned it. And so that's kind of a lesson that I try and instill in my team is let me show you how I did this um, and then kind of guide you along your way as you do it. Um, so definitely one of the lessons I learned at Rose uh, was how to be a leader for sure. Engineering can be very uh, cold because you're just trying to do a technical objective, but once you have humans involved, it's a very different thing. We flew uh, the first humans on a commercial space flight uh, in 2020. That ended up being one of the most rewarding things in my career. Uh, I got to know the astronauts that flew on the first one and everyone since. Um, and then since then, so I've basically just been building more responsibilities as a leader in the company. Um, and I've taken on a new project, the Human Landing System, as part of the Artemis III program, uh, NASA's initiative to return to the moon. So currently developing that system, which is a whole new challenge. Talking about going back to the moon has been a dream of mine my whole career. Taking humans outside of the Earth's gravitational <laughs> pull is a landmark in history. Um, and to have a piece of responsibility in that, that goal uh, that's, that's where I get the pride from. I see news articles coming out about Rose Holman. I think it's, it's really grown continuously since I left uh, in reputation. It's got a prestige to it that's just something that I cherish, you know. I'm super proud that I went to Rose Holman. I'll tell anybody about it. And, and 
For me, if you want to be an engineer, you want to go to school that specializes in engineering, and that's what Rose Holman is. Um, very smart people that are warm and loving <laughs> is Rose Holman. It's like, yeah, I couldn't imagine going to another school.